U.S. President Donald Trump addressed the U.N. General Assembly Tuesday morning Eastern Standard Time. As expected, he did talk about North Korea, but his tone was a lot different than a year ago. Our Blue House correspondent, Hwang Ojun, who's also in New York, has this story. His narrative has done a complete 180. It was just a year ago when the U.S. president threatened North Korea with, quote, fire and fury. The United States has great strength and patience. But if it is forced to defend itself or its allies, we will have no choice but to totally destroy North Korea. Rocket Man is on a suicide mission for himself and for his regime. But on Tuesday morning, local time. I would like to thank Chairman Kim for his courage and for the steps he has taken. President Trump was giving a second address to the U.N. General Assembly since his inauguration in 2017. He tooted his administration's efforts to negotiate with North Korea to achieve peace, saying that North Korea is no longer carrying out missile and nuclear tests. He underscored that the regime is even demolishing some of its military facilities, releasing hostages and returning the remains of American soldiers killed in the Korean War. But regarding the sanctions on North Korea, President Trump said they will stay in place until denuclearization occurs on the Korean Peninsula. He did thank the international community, singling out his South Korean counterpart President Moon Jae-in, Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, and Chinese President Xi Jinping for their support for U.S. policy towards North Korea. On the free trade agreement signed Monday local time by him and the South Korean leader, President Trump praised the deal, calling it just the beginning. He blasted China for its trade practices that he claimed create an intolerable trade imbalance, defending his trade war on Beijing, and also strongly attacking OPEC nations for high oil prices. The General Assembly is the very embodiment of multilateralism, but President Trump again rejected what he calls globalism, stressing the importance of national sovereignty and independence. Now, President Moon Jae-in will take the stand at the U.N. headquarters on Wednesday local time. Addressing the body of nations, he will share his vision for improving inter-Korean relations to achieve denuclearization and establish lasting peace, as well as the results of his recent summit meeting with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Hwang Wo-jun, Arirang News, New York.